Hello guys, we are back. We are butchering a pig today. We actually just finished up butchering a pig, but this is going to be the intro to my video because I have tried to do this a bunch of times and it has not come out. There's something going on with my camera and the voice keeps cutting out and I don't know why that is. So I'm up in my room, just nurse little Miss Baby Cakes. Oh, she's so sweet. And um, she needed a little bit of time away from everybody else for a minute to nurse. Because sometimes her sister, who is not quite too, likes to make lots of noise. And then it distracts this little one. So I'm up in my room. We're going to um, butcher a pig today. And we're going to figure out if it's worth it. Is it worth it to raise your own meat? I think it's worth it just for the sheer fact of quality. Um, besides that, really like in your budget, is it worth it to raise a pig? So I'm going to do a complete um, cost and see if it's cost effective. I've kept records of how much we've spent on the feed and then we'll do a whole weight of what we get and some clips in between of what we're doing. And I don't worry about the, um, I don't worry about having specific the best cuts, like I'm not a butcher, right? So, but I know what my family eats. So I'll make the cuts according to what my family eats. So that's how I butcher the pig and I cut up the, what, how we will eat it and just put it away. And you can do that too. You can butcher your own pig and you can make your own cuts of meat. They don't have to be beautiful. Meat honestly is meat and you can use it in so many different ways. And if you make a mistake, you made a mistake. That's okay. You're going to learn from that mistake. We make mistakes all the time doing this, um, but we don't waste. There's barely any waste when we butcher. We use every part of the animal. We treat our animals good from the beginning till the end. And it's just a blessing that God's given us to be able to raise our animals. So as I'm sitting here, I'm noticing this, which is maybe my all-time favorite picture. It might not be everyone else's favorite picture, but um, I love it. It actually, my son who just passed away in February, he painted that picture. He was able to paint, which is amazing in and of itself. He was a quadriplegic and he could only move his hands. He couldn't move like his arm, like he couldn't lift his arm like up onto a table. He had to have somebody like move his arm onto a table. And he was given that gift to be able, at first he was able to play the piano and then he was able to paint and God just used that. And God can use you. He can use you as a wife and a mother to be a steward of your family's everything, you know, your family's education, your family's food. And today that's what we're talking about. We're talking about being a good steward of the money and resources that God give up, gives us. And just one way that we are is um, we are raising our own pigs. And so stay tuned to the end of this video and I will give you a total breakdown of what we got for me and the price that we paid for everything. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of how we kind of set up the kitchen, and here we go. We have the meat there. Um, we have our grinder here. What we'll do is as soon as this meat is done, um, we will put the carcass over here, and younger people will be over here cutting the meat off the carcass and then grinding that for sausage, and then... We're also working on some other things over there. So over here we have our knife sharpener set out and this counter that we have right here cleared with the bowls. This will be the counter that we um, put our cuts of meat on and we'll weigh all that out before we um, bring it into the garage. Okay. day with a big 
pig. So here are the pork chops that we cut up here. So we have quite a few meals for the pork chops. And then these are the tenderloins here. So we have probably two or th probably three meals of tenderloins there. And then I make steaks out of like various parts of meat. It looks like it could be a steak just because that's how we best eat it. I try to cut things for the way that I would eat them rather than, or our family would eat them rather than like cuts of the butcher. Here's our ribs here. And then we'll go over here for our big cuts. So I have one very large um, front shoulder and I will put this in for um, like a big thing. Say we're gonna have like Christmas or something like that. We put that in and have everyone over. And then all these roasts are big enough for probably two meals per roast. So we have two, four, six, eight of those roasts. And then over here, they're cutting the meat off of this carcass here. So then we get the bits of meat here, and that's going to be for sausage. Um, over here we have, this is um, fat, and this is for, this will be done down for like baking lard. And this is for like lard for soap. So this is all what's going to be hamburger. So, I mean, not hamburger, sausage. So all this is going to get in the grinder here. We put it in the top, press it down, and then we use this type of tube and put them in these bags. Just kind of put it over like that, and it will fill the bags with your sausage. And it's one pound of sausage per bag. And over here we have a bunch of bones and we're going to take these bones and we're going to put them into big stock pots and the little tidbits of meat will come off and we'll use the tidbits of meat for um, like pulled pork or casseroles or something like that. So we're not wasteful. Hi guys. So I'm back again and we've finished it all and I've done all the numbers. So can you shut that door please? So we raise quite a few pigs. We actually raise pigs for piglets and that type of stuff. Um, I kind of averaged out how many pigs that we raise for the year. And I would say we raise six full grown pigs for the year and then like smaller piglets as well. Um, so for the six pigs, we have spent $500 on food. We just feed them like a sweet feed if we need to. Um, we also get food through... Um, a local source i'm not allowed to i don't know if i'm allowed to say like where i get it from or not but there's plenty of local sources probably in your neck of the woods so basically what we get is we get bread and vegetables from the local source that we get <clears throat> and so um it's like rotting bread and vegetables sometimes you can go to a restaurant or wherever you um might be able to get stuff but basically our source is vegetables and bread that we're getting so that means we have to drive to town. Town is a little further for us than most people, I think. It takes like 30 minutes to get to town. So um, that is $30 per week in gas to go and get that additional thing. So I um, added that into my my budget for the pigs. So that would be $1,560 per year. So... Um, that plus the 500 from what we actually bought for pig food is $2,060 per year for six pigs. If we divide that into, um, into cost per pig, that would be $343. <clears throat> if you're going to come in, you need to be quiet, okay, for a minute. So that's $343 per pig per year it cost. Okay, so now I'm going to break down what we actually got in our roasts and um, in our roasts, in our, in our meat today. So we got a 30 pound shoulder roast was our biggest cut of meat. Um, so that was 30 pounds. That was the only item that we had with the bone in. Everything else is bone out, even like the pork chops, they're all bone bone out. Well, 
actually ribs obviously ribs have ribs in them but everything else is bone out all the roasts and all that type of stuff are bone out so it's going to weigh a lot less without the bone in it so the 30 pound shoulder roast and then we have um the roast that we had, we had eight roasts all together. So we had a six pound, a seven pound, two nine pounds, a seven pound, another seven pound, and another six pound, and then two 11s. So the total of that would be um, 66. So I'm just going to add while we go. So it's going to be 66 for that plus 30 pounds for the shoulder roast. And then the pork chops, we had five that were four pound packages and then we had five that were that were five pound packages for a total of 45 pounds if you guys are going to sit here then sit here nice if you want to go play then go play in the other room okay okay thank you <clears throat> for a total of 45 pounds worth of boneless um pork chops so i'm going to add that Plus, I'm going to add, there was two things of pork steaks. So we're going to have, um, both of those are five pounds. So that's 10 pounds. Plus the pork loins. We had um, two of those, which was also, one was just under five and one was just over. So we'll say a total of 10. Plus the ribs were 25 pounds. Plus we are have 16 pound oh no that was wrong my son corrected me on that we had 20 pounds of ground pork um done so far and then we have another 20 pounds that's we're making into sausage so that would be plus 20 plus 20 <clears throat> and then we had um bacon so it was in like flats i'll drop some pictures in afterwards of this video of like what the cut of the bacon and stuff look like so i actually cut my bacon up and then i'm going to put it on the smoker for just a shorter amount of time i'll put it in a brine type i don't know what you call that solution or whatever but for a couple days like three four days in the fridge and then i'll put it in the smoker i have done like the whole slab of bacon before and then like cut it but I find that my cuts come out like really fat compared to like if I cut it before. So what I did was like I threw it in the freezer for probably like mm, an hour and a half or so. And then I cut it into thin strips. And now I have it in the brine. And then I'll just put it on the smoker probably a really short time. Maybe like an hour and a half, two hours, if that, you know. Um, so the bacon was another eight, no, ten pounds. Oops plus 10. Okay. And then, um, <clears throat> I won't count this as far as, um, usable product, but remember we also have all that, that we're going to boil down. I have some boiling down right now to get the meat off that we have that. We also have both of those bowls full of the fat, which I'm going to render down to lard. So I'm not counting any of that in this total. This is strictly just the meat. So this meat is 236 pounds. So how to find out my cost is going to be, it costs 343 pounds, uh, $343 to raise a pig for the year. And then I'm going to divide that by 236 pounds. So that means my meat costs one dollar and 45 cents per pound so yes i think it's worth it i think it's more than worth it honestly like the quality of your meat even if it was you know even if it cost us more money and our pigs were raised out on pasture which they are um we just have our pigs up in like smaller areas in the winter for one because we get so much snow but it's a big it's a big area it's not like a tiny area i'll actually maybe i'll do a video of that let me know if you'd like to see a video of that because somebody was wondering how we wintered our pigs and it's all um the one that we we built a new one this year and that's all from um we did actually like tree length logs so that might be interesting if you guys are interested in it let me know okay so <clears throat> the total cost is a dollar forty 
five a pound. What meat can you buy for a dollar forty five a pound? I mean, maybe like I don't know, cheap chicken. I don't really know because we don't really buy meat too much. I don't know how what would be a dollar forty five a pound, but a dollar forty five a pound for pasture raised pork. Wow, that's super cheap. So yes, it is most definitely worth it for us to raise pigs. So I hope you guys take like all this that we are doing and what I'm like saying to you, like, I don't, I didn't know these things before and I'm just trying to break it down. I wish somebody had broke it down so that I'd be able to better understand what value I'd get for my meat and you know, what we wanted to grow and what we didn't want to grow. And I know a lot of people now are really trying to um, grow their own food, especially given like the current crazy in the world, if you want to say, um, and they're asking these questions. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Um, just um, ask below and I'll be happy to answer those questions. Um, <clears throat> another thing is, is our some of our next videos that are going to be coming up will be one um, doing our apple harvest which would be exciting um, different ways to preserve apples we're going to do another one which is rendering down all that lard and then because we're rendering down this year's lard whatever i'm i've used last year and i still have left which i do have some i'll take that out of the basement and i'm going to bring it upstairs and i'm going to use the goat's milk and we're going to make goat's milk soap so that should be exciting we can all like do that together. How's that sound? Okay. Well, I hope everyone has a blessed evening. Good night.